Uh, Jim Till uh, testified that uh, Martin was on the bottom being uh, beaten up. That puts Zimmerman on the top. And right. soon there, soon thereafter, uh, a shot was fired. Put Zimmerman on the top. The direction of the bullet goes down. There's a testimony that there was an entrance wound and an exit wound. That would put the bullet on the ground, or no more than say twelve to eighteen inches in the ground. Okay, so what, what you're I, this is uh, I hadn't thought about this yet, but what you're saying, Randy, is that the bullet went all the way through Trayvon into the ground, right? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Well, okay. the testimony said that there's an exit wound and there's an entr- entrance room okay. wound and an exit wound. That's already been testified to, and I think they showed the fabric uh, of the fabric where he was sworn where the uh, bullet exited. Okay. If so, that, so that was, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Randy. Finish up. If that was true, the the bullet has exited in a downward position. Okay, so Rob, first of all, you told me that Rachel testified that Tr- Trayvon was on the bottom. How could she possibly testify to that if she's not present? I, I would think that would have been objected right. to by the defense. Right. There's, there is uh, a lot of connecting the dots in her testimony. She, you know, she will say things like, he wouldn't have done this if he wasn't at risk, if he wasn't being assaulted. He wouldn't have done X, Y, and Z thing. Some of it, some of it's speculative. Some of it, I mean, she, she talks about the sound of hearing grass rustling. So there's some of it that is supported, at least if you believe her testimony, by the testimony that she's given. So, sure, I mean, I, she wasn't there. She couldn't literally see who was on top, but her testimony suggests that Trayvon Martin was getting the worst of it, right. that he was being the victim of this assault, however, whatever, wherever they were rolling around to.